against Scotland and Uruguay. In the German changes, Hans Peter Briegel's not playing. He is injured. Lidbert. Chris Bainbridge of Australia and Eric Fredriksen of Sweden. To Morten Olsen bringing this ball out and pushing it to the left side. Uh oh, Laudra. Well, I think it'll be very interesting to see how Laudra and Elke are react to a much stronger defense than they've run into in the other two games that they've played. This will be the Lars Hoy. The captain, Morten Olsen, has played two superb games and led by example. Tackle on Jesper Olsen of Manchester United. Two Manchester United players. Now that the two sides are beginning to settle, there's every indication that this will be so. Help some space. Tries to take on and go through the middle of two men. But Soren Bust is presented. The person in there that's been able to do that for them. Probing ball. The fourth and old surprise. And perhaps they will pay the same price as they did against this side, Denmark. Certainly we know that one of our commentary team will be hoping so, without mentioning any names. Morten Olsen. This game set. Magnificent body swerve, good footwork, a very complete footballer. Plays for Juventus. And he and Elgar make a most formidable strike force for the day. And very well supported in midfield. Very well supported. And I think the way we're watching this game is unfolding that way. The two midfields are playing against each other. It's like a little chess game to see who makes it. Accuracy and direction will sometimes surpass power. And a very, very... But into the arms of Hoy. So end to end with perhaps the Danes just slightly the better for it. I think slightly the better for it, but then uh, Germany have had some very good chances at one last quick break, and I think, like I said, it's going to be a game of inches here, the first one to make the goalkeepers. We haven't seen Hoy tested by any high balls yet, but he certainly looks much more agile than the taller Rasmussen. Denmark coming through. Oh, because we have had a lot of end-to-end -end play, but when you get two equally matched sides like this, it may be that to Cavetero. And 27 minutes of this first half gone. And the throwers this time. Back to Morton Olsen, who has strolled through his first two games at 36 years of... came in as a substitute against Uruguay, and within minutes... Very few minutes, in fact, calmly. Lerby to Morton Olsen, pushes it out to the right side. Blonde hair of Soren Bus. Morton Olsen moves forward. Well into the German half. Nobody picking him up. Jesper Olsen. Thinks about a give and go, but Morton Olsen is brought down and the Danes get a kick in a dangerous area. Morton Olsen plays for Anderlecht. And there the Alexis Ponet whistles up the offside. So a kick to Denmark. Taken quickly. Crowd perhaps expecting more of this game, and some of the scribes even expecting more of this game. A little bit of a scramble in that penalty area for a while there, but Denmark survived it, and the score remains nil. Graham would call it. Morton Olsen. Tries to find Elkjar. Elkjar pulls wide, but the German defence is up to the threat into such a quick fast break and uh, of course that's where this game is going to shift because right now it's very even with one team taking the advantage for a while and then just then Denmark having it all of a sudden it switched back to Germany again now Danish Cloud roar, the Danes have Jesper Olsen, Manchester United as we see the foul which resulted in the penalty.
he's got eight yards or 7.31 meters to shoot at as we see tony schumacher in the goal and that ball will be shot from 10.97 meters away or for most of you who are more familiar with it 12 yards and he beats schumacher and we've had two substitutions in this game Coming on, substitute remaining if they elect to use him. Litbarski early on the ball, Klaus Alofs attacking, and just going to bring man, a man forward from the back, and Morton Olsen dribbled three quarters of the way down the field there before someone decided they needed to come out and take him, and that's the problem when a sweeper comes forward. I don't... Our chance for Bremer. Crosses in, Danish defenders there in numbers. One lone West German in the box, Rudi Voller. Morton Olsen leading again from his sweeper role and covering almost as much ground as earlier. Puts in a beautiful through ball. The ball out to Sieverbeck. Morton Olsen. Michael Laudrup. Just a suggestion that he propelled that ball a little with his hand then, but uh, play goes on and the two Olsens together. And that ball a little bit too far. They're tremendous. Uh, it's a credit to their ability to be able to pull together like this and play so well. Denmark safely into the hands of Schumacher. Will be a very powerful shot from outside the area. Morton Olsen covers. Beats his man. Beautifully. Still Denmark one. West Germany nil. One would wonder why uh, maybe Karl Heinz Rummenigge would not come in or Beckenbauer might think of putting him in and pulling someone else that's already on the field into that defensive position. Because they're down 2 0, and we've seen Karl to Andreas Bremer. And Litvarski tries the left side. But he's definitely back in his game. But there's no doubt that right now, looking at them, they're good enough to go a long way in this tournament and they just have to conquer themselves. Maybe. The West Germans come out. Morton Olsen on hand to collect that ball, push it quiet. One has to think that the Danes are in the driving seat and that uh, drive from well outside the air will have been well marked, but turns his man very well there, will try a shot, will he? Back shields it for Litvarski. The United, Steve Beck and Jesper Olsen, one from Liverpool, Jan Mulby. And we're back in Corregidor Stadium in Queretaro. Little player standing only five feet five, but lots of experience and a huge heart. So the teams now have their substitutes on, and they must now play with these 11 men for the rest. Did not blow his whistle. Now Denmark a little too casual, and that German challenge almost securing the ball. But it's not the case. Seen Karl Heinz Rummenigge do very much or even get a hold of the ball yet again. That almost got on his head. Oh, boy. He just push passes the ball out to Morton Olsen. It's a kick to Denmark. Morton Olsen just flicks back his uh, bare ball, pushing it through for Rumenega. Easily dispossessed by this magnificent sweeper, Morton Olsen. What an example. What an example to players who think they're over the hill when they reach 30. And a rather dramatic collapse there by this game. Of course, in fairness to the Germans, we're not quite sure how concerned they are about this game, but it does mean they'll finish second. Side. Can the great man do something? Gets his cross in, but Denmark concede a corner, and it's Morton Olsen, the ever-present, inspirational. Erget, Rudi Vuller, Trying to get the ball in, but luckily in the Danes reserves, they seem to have a lot of players. So I don't think they'll suffer too much, but for him personally, very unfortunate. And he's played a key role in the Danish... The Danish flag and the Danish supporters en masse.